Today is a really quiet day in Calico, it seems. Joan is in town, and she's actually finally selling turnips at below 100 bells, 93 each to be exact. I purchased 500 to start, and hope that the prices go up during the week. I also have my other towns that I can check if the prices in Calico fall, so I'm honestly not too worried. Chatter asked me to deliver something to Stinky, so maybe Chatter is as nervous of the cats as they seem to be of him. I really actually love having this kind of dynamic between almost all the cat town and, you know, that single mouse who lives in town but kind of seems like he doesn't care. Maybe he does, I'm not sure. Um, I have a lot of, I guess, little theories going on about what's going on in these villagers' lives. After wrapping up dailies, I stop by Nooks and find what he calls a barrel mailbox. I think I like it a little bit better than the one we have, but I'm having some trouble pitching it next to my house. But I guess there's only one way to see if I like it or not. Speaking of around my house, I decided that I want to bring back the cat face tile for the road leading up to my neighborhood. At the moment, I've spaced them apart by three squares, but I might change that later. I also really need to take a trip to the island and start bringing back bushes for around town. I think I know where I'm going to use them around here, but we'll have to see for the rest of the town. It's a dark and gloomy day in Calico today. Let's see if we can't make it a little bit brighter. I found a lost item near Kat's house, so I was assuming it was hers, but it actually turned out to be Rosie's. She seemed really happy to get it back, at least. I did a little bit of flower arranging near retail, Stinky's house, and my own house. As for retail, though, I think once I collect more pink and blue flowers, I'll be putting those in this area. I just like the idea of representing Reese and Cyrus before you even walk into their store. After I found all of my fossils and watered each and every flower, I headed to the museum to find Blathers awake. Again. I ask what's up, and he seems to have a friend who wants to open up a coffee shop in Calico. I don't know if cats or mice even enjoy coffee, but anything to make this town better. I think I have a rough idea about where I want to place it, but we'll see if it works. In Nook's Homes, I finally find the fencing I want around my house. This is actually my favorite one, and I use it in all of my towns. I think this is actually going to be my question of the day. Do you guys usually stick with the same house exterior in each town, or do you tend to change things up? Over at Timmy and Tommy's, I find a bunch of stuff I want to use in the house in the future, but not right now. I pick it up anyways though, since it'll help expand their store faster. Okay, so I just finished laying out where I want the cafe to go, and I've kind of always liked the idea of having it close to either retail or town hall, and with this spot, I kind of get the best of both worlds. It also lines up nicely with the villager houses and the planned path for our new bridge. If you guys have any suggestions to make this area look even better, or you know what flowers to use around here, feel free to let me know. Finally, the sun is out. I visit Kabuki after watering his garden, and he mentions that things will get stale here if no one moves in or visits. While I don't really plan on changing villagers anytime soon, I could invite some people over. Maybe not today, though. Tangy mentions that she's been obsessed with fruit lately, which first of all sounds familiar, and second is a little bit weird considering she's, like, actually an orange cat. I decide I should bring her a perfect peach, and hopefully it's okay with her that it isn't an orange. While I was fetching that peach, Kitty stops me to ask for yet another mole cricket. I don't know why they keep asking for these in particular, but it must be Kitty's lucky day because I find one almost immediately. Something that's been bothering me for a while is that kind of pile of roses I've had to the right of my house. Uh, so I end up moving some of them, particularly the yellow ones behind Town Hall, and the, the red ones around the police station. I think I'm going to use a mix of probably pink, blue, and white flowers for around my place. I just kind of need to decide which species. I've been checking my turnip prices twice a day with Reese, and so far it's not looking that good. We've had a steady decline over the last three price checks, but that could mean a spike in prices coming soon. Hopefully. My other town memory is on the same pattern at the moment. I must have completed one of the initiatives today, since the Meow Coupon machine is beeping at me. I think there was one to do with collecting five fossils and having them assessed. Uh, I think what I might actually do here, though, is trade in some of these for bells again, and then use that money to pay off the lighthouse so we can go work on other stuff.
So, I've been thinking about our struggle to choose between Alpine and Ranch, and I've decided that maybe refurbishing both might be the answer. I take the Alpine bed into Cyrus and choose the beige option for the wood and the leaf option for the fabric. I think this will look okay. I also actually remembered to check my town initiatives for today, and thankfully, I have two that are really easy to complete. The first is to write a letter to my future self and include 5,000 bells in the letter. I think this is actually a pretty neat thing for them to include in the game, and hopefully it's also in New Horizons. The second task is to buy 500 bells worth of items from the Able Sisters. I figure I might buy something that belongs to a set I don't already have for the future fashion checks from Gracie we're going to have to endure. Uh, there's two of these initiatives done, at least. Moving into the core of our work today, though, I open up my town gates and have other Mare Crystal from memory arrive to drop off a few things. I argue back and forth with myself if I should allow myself to use items and tools from my more complete town, but honestly, I think it's fine. I want to see how much we can get done before New Horizon releases. Other Mare Crystal drops off a huge amount of bush starters and some tree saplings, which should really help us get a move on. She also drops off an orange lass, but doesn't say anything about it. Weird, maybe a strong silent type? It's time to get to work on some bush planting. I take some blue hydrangeas and red hibiscus bushes and plant them in front of the police station. I'm not even positive that these will bloom around the same time, but even just the little sprouts make this area look a lot more complete. Heading back to my house, and I feel like I'm being watched or stared at more likely. I usually stick with blue for around my house in terms of flowers and bushes, but in this town we're going to change things up. I plant some pink hydrangeas and yellow hibiscus around my house, and I also plant some more in the two spaces between the trees leading up to my path. I don't think I've ever actually done anything like this before, but like I said, this town is all about change. My next idea is actually going to change up how I handle the space around my town tree. I want to incorporate all, I, I think there's 11 or 10 fruit trees into this area, while also having some cedar trees to help space things out. Uh, I'm gonna have an alternating pattern of cedar and fruit going all the way around. Unfortunately, this rock is gonna be in the way, but there's nothing really much I can do about that. I also take the special orange and place it here to honor other Mirror Crystal's contributions. Which, by the way, I'm, I'm still honestly feeling a little bit watched. The final thing for today is to plant some sweet olive starts behind where the cafe will eventually go. I'm gonna need a couple more to fill out this space, but this is a pretty good start. I also take some pink azalea starts and plant them behind retail. We don't have actually a lot of room to plant them around here, so I hope that Reese and Cyrus are cool with having a backyard. I head back to put away the remaining saplings and bushes, and she's just standing there, staring. If you want to hang out that bad, make yourself useful and go do some watering. Hello there you guys, Crystal here. Welcome back to Calico. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. Welcome on it. Um, yeah, so we did a lot of town work, especially yesterday. Look at these bushes, you guys. I think these are gonna look really, really good when they're done, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Um, you can actually already tell that these ones are different slightly because this one has a different, uh, I guess, bottom trunk bit. Do bushes have trunks? I don't even- whatever. I'm not even sure uh, than these ones, but yeah. Hopefully it looks good. You guys can more feel, I guess, feel free more than welcome to uh, to let me know what you think. Let me check out my letters here. Oh, right. <laughs> it's dangerous to go alone. Take this from myself from yesterday. Um, that is a really cool feature. I do hope that they continue to use that in New Horizons. So, extra 5,000 bells that I definitely didn't have yesterday, kind of. Um, that's pretty cool. We also have some fossils. Um, I haven't picked up the ones from today yet, but these are actually from yesterday. I barely did my normal dailies yesterday. I kind of just focused on town stuff. So let's take a quick look around and make sure that everything's growing properly. I was a bit concerned about the cedar trees around the plaza because I think that some of them might be too low down. Um, for anyone who does not know, cedar trees will only grow on the upper half of town. So it may be a bit, oh, Katrina's here. So these ones down here I was worried about. No, they're growing. Cool. 
Cool, I'm assuming the cutoff point is somewhere down here then. Because this is already pretty low down. Um, let's go see Katrina then, shall we? It is coming to view. A turtle takes a nap on the beach of a tropical island. He's enjoying his retirement and looking younger by the day. From this place, I can see the signs. Oh, yes, I can. I see good fortune upon health. Glasses. Oh, perfect. <laughs> This item will be the key to truly unlocking your good fortune. Well, it's a good thing I'm already blind, then. Perfect. <laughs> Since you're already wearing a lucky item now, I think you'll be fine for today. May happiness find you and yours. And remember that bad times are just times that are bad. Very, very good advice from Katrina there. So it's really sad. We've We've been in town for... Maybe like a month and a half, give or take, and I've already forgotten how many times I've had her come over and visit. Um, so I have no clue how close we are to unlocking her shop on Main Street. It's usually one of the last ones I actually do. Let's see over here. These ones, you can see again that I've used different saplings here. Oh, these ones, yes. I wasn't sure these ones would grow. And I was right. They're a little bit too close to the, uh, the main building itself, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm pretty sure I could actually plant something there anyway, like uh, flower-wise, so I'm not too fussed. Uh, let's take a look. Where else did I plant stuff? Behind retail and behind where the cafe is gonna go, I think. Yep, these ones are just fine. I kind of like the idea of having a line of trees and then a line of bushes kind of close by, if not right next to it. Um, I think that's gonna be something we're gonna do a lot in this town. And then we have these ones, which I kind of like the idea of having flowers here instead of having a full row of uh, um, bushes. <laughs> you know what? Actually, just looking at this again, I might expand the path on this side and make this one three wide. Purely because it's kind of bothering me that there's going to be an empty space for flowers here. But not on this side. This side, this is eventually going to be path again. Uh, and the side of the cafe is going to be right up against the path. So I might actually change how this area works. I'm going to have to think about it, though. I'm very indecisive, if you guys have not noticed already. Um, well, you know- oh, wait a minute. Hello, I thought I heard your annoying beeping. Cool. Was this from yesterday? Did I pick these up yesterday? I don't even remember. Let me check. Uh, lucky item initiative. That's cool. You'll need a little luck to complete this initiative. A lucky item that is. Wear today's lucky item for your sweet coupon reward. Having a bad day? Need to release some pent up frustration? Then go ahead and smash some rocks. I actually already know where the fake rock is in town and I kind of don't want to move it because it's in a really cool spot. I don't think people have actually noticed it yet though. And pro design, I'm not 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 gonna bother with that right now. <laughs> um, all right. Maybe we'll say hello to some villagers. I did not talk to them at all yesterday. I was literally in town working. I was very focused and I feel bad that I wasn't paying any attention to them. Hello, chatter. How much have I spent on this room? Why would you ask me something like that, Crystal? You know what? I'm willing to bet he spent quite a decent amount. He has a fancy laptop, he has a hot tub, he has a really nice shower that I'm a little bit jealous of. Man, Chatter's rolling in the bells. I want to know what Chatter does. What do my villagers do for a living? I'm assuming they just do what I do, <laughs> technically. Uh, so the lighthouse- ooh, hello. The lighthouse was finished. Um, I think it looks pretty nice. I'm still a little bit miffed that I couldn't really get it centered actually anywhere. It wouldn't 
properly center on this piece, it wouldn't center with the houses, it wouldn't center in between the houses. Um, which is unfortunate, but you know what? A little bit of non-symmetrical stuff is okay every once in a while. Uh, so Tangy is not in. Uh, Rosie is not in. Punchy? Where are my villagers? Punchy's not in. <laughs> Uh, Bob, come on, you guys. Come on, where are you? I literally want to talk to Kitty, not in. Lolly, not in. Stinky's not in. Oh my god. Cat is actually still asleep. It's not 11 yet. Kabuki? Oh, Kabuki. He's usually in his house. I find that he tends to uh, be a bit isolated. He stays at home very often. <laughs> Oh, well that's why he's at home. Rise and shine, buddy. Mm, I got up, but I must have fallen back asleep while I was still standing. I guess it's not good to stay up all night. Thanks for waking me up. Lolly came to hang out the other day and told me I needed to decorate my room. Sorry, my room better. <laughs> well, that's it. I'm not looking like a fool any longer. You got any furniture you'd suggest? So I'm actually gonna go to retail because my villagers have started that process of selling off all of their good starting furniture and they're replacing it with really silly things. So I'm gonna see if there's anything that he's put in there that I can actually just give back to him. Um, because I, I want to try my best to keep the villager houses intact. I did think about keeping or trying to keep all the villagers in their default outfits as well, but that's just not working. So, <laughs> what I might do though, actually, I do have plans for in the Able Sisters. I want to go ahead and make some deep, like, uh, custom calico shirts for the villagers to wear in maybe different colors. And hopefully they take it. <laughs> Uh, oh well he has- I gave him this for his... something. Was it his birthday? I gave him this for some reason. I'm gonna give it back to him. I don't think he liked it very much, but that's okay. <laughs> it fits his house. Oh hey, this is done. Cool. I should probably go ahead and take in the next one as well. I don't know if I'm quite sold on that design just yet, but it's something different. It's still alpine, but it's something I haven't ever actually done before, so... We're gonna give it a try. Okay, uh, gonna run back, grab a different piece of alpine furniture, drop this off with Kabuki, then run back to retail. <laughs> I feel like I'm going a bit back and forth today. Also, I'm pretty sure in terms of my villagers, they like to hang out around that middle bridge in town as well as the, um, the town plaza. So I'm pretty sure that's where they are if you guys are concerned that they've all left me or something like that. Um, they just, they really like the town plaza in this town, which I find really interesting. Okay, so this was going over here. Okay, that's really annoying that you decide to go there. <laughs> <clears throat> so, let me see here. Let me, let me just take a look. So we have the beige colored alpine furniture right here. And then we have the beige colored ranch furniture right there. I don't really know if they go. I might still make the ranch furniture white instead, but let me, let me take a look. Man, this is, these are not the same beige at all. <clears throat> I might even leave the ranch furniture as default looking at that though. Man, we have so much to do. <laughs> um, let me just grab a different piece of alpine, because I'm pretty set on that. I do like that. And I don't even have to use alpine and ranch in the same room. That's the thing. I just kind of want a little bit of matching throughout the house and not have like completely different sets in each room. Right, Kabuki. Can't forget about Kabuki. Also, I'm sorry if I sound a little bit funny today, you guys. I'm feeling a little bit congested. Um, I also have a toothache, which has not been fun at all. It started randomly yesterday. I wasn't eating, I wasn't talking, I wasn't doing anything. And I have a nasty feeling it might be a wisdom tooth moving in, which I am not ready for. I'm horrified by that idea. Uh, it was this one. About to give him my alpine couch. <laughs> oh, an eagle pole. 
Let's Anything see. I wonder where I should put my newfound gift. All right, I know exactly where this item should go. I'm pretty sure it's a good sign if they put it down right away. I feel like that means that they like it a lot. Yeah, it's exactly where it was before. A trunk measure. All right, I'll take it. Thank you. Okay, I want to go see if we can find our other villagers, though. We really need to give them a little bit more love. A little bit more TLC. Um, did I have a place for black lilies just yet? I actually don't know. I don't think I did. Oh, hi, buddy. We got Punchy up here. Oh, good, I've been looking for you. I think someone's favorite bug tells you a lot about that person. So what's your favorite bug? Me? I'm totally obsessed with the pill bug right now. It's so cool. But I'm not having any luck catching one, so do you think you could help me get one? Ugh. Oh, ugh. Okay. Yes, I'll do it. For you. This is the issue with having cute villagers. You can't say no. It's just, you can't. <laughs> Rosie, how about you? How's your morning, Crystal? I hope it's great. What do you want to talk about? Chilly today, right? I bet the whole sky's gonna freeze. Yay, that would be so pretty. Alrighty. Grab that. Um, Bob, how's it going, dude? We haven't really spoken to Bob too much, which is weird because he is my favorite villager for a reason. Oh, morning, Crystal. I can barely keep my eyes open. Plus, the sun is so bright, it feels like lasers are shooting directly into my brain. If you give Cyrus at retail a gold nugget, he'll make you some shiny golden furniture. Isn't that great? I'm gonna try my best to find some of those gold nuggets. I actually haven't done that in so long, but I did at one point have a full gold room, which takes a little while to do. Where did Kitty go? I swear to God, she is the- ooh. Hello. Sorry, easily distracted. Uh, she is the best at just disappearing. <laughs> just absolutely gone. <laughs> Did she cross the bridge here? No? Okay, you know what, Kitty? I will talk to you later then. I will see you later. Oh my god, I swear to god, you were not there two seconds ago. Did you know that Rosie is thinking about- Excuse you? I don't think she made up her mind yet, so if you want to try to talk her out of it, now's your chance, Rosie. We need to have a discussion as I take out a shovel. That is very intimidating. Where did she go? Do you want to talk to me about anything? Chilly today, right? A bit- okay, you- you literally just said that. Alright, we might have to wait for her to ping us. I'll keep you guys updated on that. I do play this town almost every single day, so I've been very good about keeping our villagers uh, in check, thankfully. <laughs> Alright, let me see if I can find this pill bug. Ooh. See, this is the reason why I actually don't bother with the money rock once I put down paths. Is that reason exactly. <laughs> it's uh, it's almost not worth it. I hate digging up my paths and like putting them back down, so... Uh, let's drop it. Okay, I need to find a place for this black lily and pink tulip here. I don't think I had places for those already. That's pink, but that's not tulips. I also have to remember to put this couch in before someone ends up asking me for it. Okay, Chatter is chilling out in here, which is cool. Project, you say? I'll be the judge of that. Let me see if you got anything that stands out to me. Okay, here you go. You brought me an alpine sofa. Okay, the wood grain color can definitely be customized. The fabric as well. Okay, so we're gonna go beige again. I actually really did like that. Um, dark brown also looks really good, but it's a little bit too dark for what I want for this house. 
And we have a lot of different designs for the fabric, but I like the leaf one personally. Alright then, leave the rest to me. Took about 30 minutes, so go kill some time and come back later. Thank you. Okay. Um... Oh, sorry, chatter. I don't know what he- I think he was interested in the guitar, maybe? <laughs> uh, he's probably not gonna end up buying that. Let me see here. I also haven't seen any fossils yet today. I already have four to donate, mind you, but still. Uh, pill book? Uh-huh. There we go. See, I don't mind getting this one. Getting the, uh... Oh, uh, what, what is that cricket's name? The mole cricket, I think it is. That one is really annoying to get. I hate having to dig up my town to find one. Ooh, I could do... You know what, actually? I like the tulips for Punchy. I might do black in front of the cafe here. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. When it's fully built, I'll, I'll have a better idea. Um, all right, Punchy, I got your bug wherever he went. Let's see, this is my issue. I need like a beeper on every single one of these cats and the mouse. <laughs> I can never find them when I need them. I should probably get that megaphone, but Oh, hello. Wait a minute. Uh, oh, wait. There you go. Just cycled through all my tools to get to it. <laughs> also, you guys are carrying watering cans, you sweethearts. Trying to help me water. Which, man, using other Mayor Crystal yesterday to water my flowers with the gold watering can? So nice. She's able to water so much, but I feel like it takes longer. I don't know. I feel like the animation for watering with the gold watering can is just very, very long. <laughs> okay, well now I'm finding my fossils, which is great. Um, I'd prefer to find Punchy, mind you, but you know, whatever. It's cool. Also, pink lilies. Or pink lilies, sorry. Uh, pink tulips. Where am I putting those? Hi. Hi again. Isn't it funny how we keep running into each other? There you go, buddy. Wow, I didn't think you actually bring me one. This is great. Uh-huh, and here's a little something for you. It's a tan puppy vest. <laughs> I hope you like it, thanks. I think that's one I used to wear when I would go fishing for Fishing Tourney episodes way back when. It fits, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't really like the colors, mind you, but it fits. Um, okay, pink. Pink, pink, pink. Where am I putting you? I could just put it around retail. But then again, I have the pink cosmos over there. Or, yeah, they're the cosmos. Um, I might just put it back here for now. Safe place. I'm always gonna water beside my house. I'm not gonna forget, <laughs> so. we go pick this one up and while I'm thinking about watering actually I have a nasty habit of forgetting to water my flowers after the Friday episode so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure I at least water the hybrid ones down here and the other ones like they, they, they're fine they're fine <laughs> uh, ooh, there we go got another one of those for beside retail uh, no luck with the black tulips here at least Wait a minute. There we go. Uh, orange tulips we got. We actually have most of these hybrids already, which is really, really nice. Pink, we obviously- oh my god. See, this is the thing about the silver one, is that sometimes my character like veers off to one of the flowers and it's like, oh, you want to target this one. It's like, no. No, I don't. See, this is where, if you guys play Stardew, there's a- uh, an indicator that shows what you're like where you're aiming <laughs> that that would be very handy in this in this circumstance at least but it might look a little bit weird in animal crossing there we go i want to get some more pink lilies for um lolly's house i think it was 
I think those would look really good for her. Um, so this one's not meant to be here. There we go. Uh, this one is kind of, it doesn't have the same space as the other ones, so it's kind of bunched up there. Orange, no luck there, and black. There we go. Awesome. Also, no purple. Purple roses are like a no-go so far, so I might end up stealing those from uh, memory. We'll see. We'll see about that, though. Okay, so these actually all go over this way, I think. Oh, sorry, Punchy. Totally didn't mean to run into you there. Um, okay, so we got a white one, which is going here. Purple, which I'm going to be putting up here for now. I kind of really like this color combination here. And I don't really know where else I'd put it, but I don't know if it's going to stick beside retail forever. Uh, and then white ones were going up here. Which, I just realized I have an extra line here, and I don't know what I'm going to put in there, so... I also might rearrange the order and change the orange ones to where the white ones are, and vice versa. Um, so that it kind of goes into like a better gradient, almost, upwards, if that makes any sense. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, you know what? Let's go donate the fossils that we have, do a little bit of shopping. Which villagers have we not seen today? We haven't seen Lolly, Tangy, Cat is still asleep, Stinky, and we've seen everyone else. It's also really handy to have my entire villager list at the very top of the screen for you guys because then I can check and I can be like, oh yeah, I haven't seen this villager. <clears throat> oh my goodness, my voice is completely going on me. <laughs> I'm getting so used to seeing him awake when I come in. Okay, surely one of these must be new, right? More than one, I see. Let's take a closer look. Oh, yeah, there we go. There is something. Okay, let's see what we got. An ap apato tail? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Either way, I'm gonna have to remember and mark that down in my app later on because I don't have it actually on me at the moment. Cool. We're getting pretty close actually um, to completing that fossil collection, which is not abnormal for me. I usually finish that pretty darn quickly. Um, it's the other ones that take forever. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna update my dream suite after the episode is done. I don't want anything from Nook's Homes, but I am going to check out Timmy and Tommy. Uh, this is always a little bit weird considering we had bird villagers, but let's not talk about that. <laughs> okay. Um, oh my goodness, that was difficult. Ramshackle wall, no thank you. I'm really still looking for alpine or ranch stuff, and I've I've had a little bit of luck. I did find the ranch floor the other day. Um, I do not want it in my main room though, it's very green. Something I would love for them to do in New Horizons if they're going to continue having the furniture refurbishing option. Let me refurbish wallpaper and flooring as well. There's some wallpaper and flowings that I love, but I hate the colors of them. Like, the general design, amazing. Color scheme, not for me at least, <laughs> so. Okay, and I don't have any interest in the Able Sisters, but I do need to buy tree saplings every day. I would like to get that golden axe as soon as possible. As well as we need cedar trees for around the plaza, because we are not done with that area yet. Cool, thank you. And I'm also actually still buying flowers, believe it or not. We don't really 
need any more of the basic colors. I could always breed them myself, but because we don't have the beautiful town ordinance on, that takes much longer. So... Um, I could also go to the island, which by the way, I think I've mentioned this before, but going to the island and bringing back flowers is probably one of the fastest way to get at least the basic colors of flowers really early on. Just tons and tons of them, that's what I used to do, honestly. Um, I'm not doing that so much in this town because I found that I usually got too many of the basics like red, white, and yellow flowers, and I had no idea what to do with them. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, okay, so yellow are going down here in this pattern that we're making. There we go. And I'm going to be kind of outlining this area as well with the red around here. Um, so we can have an even too wide checkerboard pattern going down this way. Um, and then yellow, I think I was just putting those around here. Because I really- these are probably my least favorite flower in the game. Fun fact, I really dislike yellow violets. Just personally not my favorite, so they're probably not going to stay. Um, but for now they can. Okay, let me go ahead and sell off the fossils. Also, I don't think I mentioned it at all, but I didn't record an update for Calico on Wednesday, and that was the day that my turnip prices spiked. Um, it went up to 140 something, I think, which isn't a huge spike. It's a small spike, but it's still selling at a profit. So we earned like some 80 some odd bells or 80,000. Um, it wasn't a huge profit, but we also didn't buy a lot. Um, I went very conservatively with my first attempt at it, so. Ooh, what are you paying premium for? I always forget to check that board. And then I check it when she says that I've sold something at a premium price. <laughs> Furniture, oh, general furniture, okay. That's actually really nice. If you guys don't check that board, you probably should. It's honestly very handy, especially if you want to like get rid of items from your from your storage and you want to do some like spring cleaning or something like that. You can sell them at a huge, you know, profit for yourself usually. Um, I could always plant this. Oh, Rosie? No, <laughs> hi. Crystal, I finally figured out what our town needs. Oh, kitty, you're doing me a solid right now, girl. What is it? Illuminated arch. I actually like those. I don't think I'm going to have that in this town. Sorry, I'm just making sure my voice is heard. It's so important to get involved in public issues. Now I'll tell Isabel about it and you two can make it happen. Oh, you are a, you are a gem, kitty. I actually love you. Um, Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So... Are you guys having a moment? All right, I'm not good. You know, whatever. It's cool. I'm proud. <laughs> um, oh, you guys are so cute. Okay, sorry. Um, there we go. So if you guys are wondering, by the way, I don't think I explained it properly yesterday. Um, where these kitty squares are, that's actually where the fruit trees are going to go. Um, so obviously this one is getting chopped down. <laughs> and uh, I think this one has to be moved also. These ones need to be moved. There's a couple that need to be moved, but it's okay. Um, yeah, there we go. There's another cedar tree. Cool. All right. One other thing. Oh, I hear Tiger crying outside my door. One other thing I need to do is I've been a little bit scared to check this because I know I haven't put down enough public works projects to even come close to perfect town status yet. But I still want to see what she's gonna say. How are we doing? How are we doing? I feel like we got a lot more plants yesterday, which is great, but we're severely lacking in public works projects, I'd assume. Hmm, it's not a passing grade, but it's not really failing either. So middle ground. It's like this town is more than friends, but not ready to be a couple yet. It needs real commitment. Assistants also say they feel there isn't enough greenery. Oh, interesting. 
They want more plants. Okay, that we're working on. I got that. Okay, let's go ahead and I think we need to do the ceremony for the lighthouse and then I want to put down a new public works project. I'm thinking probably the light posts that I didn't do last time. <laughs> Although, I'm not gonna lie, the cafe is really tempting, but that one scares me because it is a permanent one. I cannot, you know, pick it back up or move it after I've put it down, and I don't know, that's a really big decision to make. And by putting it where I want to put it, I'm really cutting off a section of town and kind of... I don't know, it's gonna be different. Also, hopefully Rosie is gonna ping me after this to tell me she wants to move. But I guess we'll see. We did it! Yay! There we go. I love how after this, Isabel like yeets herself back to the town. Oh, back to the town hall. Thank you. Whereas um, everyone else stays. It's just really funny how she's absolutely nowhere to be seen. <laughs> you don't get to see her walk back. Uh, Rosie? No, still nothing? Okay. In your time, in your own time. We'll get there eventually. Everyone is carrying watering cans. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and put down the lighthouse or lighthouse light post um, or lamp. Uh, someone suggested putting it down in front of my house. Now that I think about it though, that mm, that might not work anymore because I have the bushes there. Uh, oh, and I, I really shouldn't fall into the same trap as I did last time in my old town or in my current other town memory. I, uh, I, I have too many light posts. <laughs> you can only have a maximum of 30 public works projects in your town if you did not know. Um, after that point, villagers will not suggest new ones and you can't place down any new ones either. Um, so I'm gonna try and avoid that. Also, this is very, very tempting. Uh, I don't want to put down either of these benches. That it has a cursed history in my old town because we kept putting it down and then we kept moving it around. Fountain is very tempting. Clock. Yeah, see, I, li I love these street lamps, but... Okay, let me go take a look around my house and see what we can do. I have somewhat of an idea. Um, let's go this way. So, I've had a couple of people make comments that like, you know, oh, you should make some paths off to the right side of your house because the left side has paths already and it looks a little bit uneven. And trust me, I hear you. I see it. Um, that bridge is probably not staying there, which is why I haven't really committed to putting paths on the other side. But I do want to make a little cobblestone path leading over... I'll actually show you guys now... over here. That is... Sorry, Isabel. That's, that's the plan. <laughs> um... Yeah, this might not work. Can I have... I can't have bushes right next to an object, can I? Hmm. <laughs> I may have just worked myself into a corner. What I could do is have one, like, right here. Which, this path is not going to stay here forever, though, so... It would be... Oh, no. No, that's kind of floating and weird. Let me see if there's anywhere else I might want to put it, though. This is where, eventually, I hope the bridge is able to go. Um, hmm. I don't know. Hi, cat. You're actually awake. That's awesome. Good for you. I feel that, honestly. That's a mood. <laughs> uh, oh, if I was really, really sneaky, what I could do is put a light post right here, like smack dab in the center of the houses and have one for- I mean not all of the houses have three spaces in between and it would be kind of ruined right here. Uh, but I already have an idea for that so I'm not gonna do that. Um, cafe? 
I don't know. I don't know. I might- oh, I might just do the cafe right now. That's very tempting. Alright, Isabel, we're gonna cancel this. We're gonna- oh, god. I don't like- I don't like such big decisions, you guys. <laughs> I've been avoiding this so hard. I wish you would be like, oh, do you want to work on something else? Oh, well. Unfortunately not. Unfortunately, I have to go back in and go through all that dialogue again. I guess it's better that I test this out now before I plant too much other stuff around where the cafe is gonna go just in case I've miscalculated it somehow or I've laid something out wrong because that is entirely possible knowing me. Okay, cafe. There we go. Yep, I know. I know. That's what scares me, Isabel. <laughs> Okay. So. Hi, Punchy. Apparently the cafe is five... five spaces wide by four spaces... long. I think I'm saying that correctly. So... this should work? I don't like this. I'm nervous. Okay, she's saying yes, so that's a good first start. Yeah, so that's what it's gonna look like. Um, the reason, by the way, why I don't have it right up against the path is because just like um, retail or the town hall, there's gonna be that one, or villager houses, there's that one square right in front of the door that you can't put down a path. But yeah, you can see actually, if you look really closely behind the left side of the cafe, you can see the flower back there, meaning that we're not trampling those, which is great. Um, I think I am gonna move the path on the left hand side to be three wide. Which might bother me on the other side now that I think about it. Man, there's a lot that goes into this, you guys. I haven't made a path or I guess made a town from scratch since, well, I guess December of 2018, so. <laughs> Oh, that would make these uneven. Oh well. That's fine. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, Isabel, here is... And I figure I'd let you guys see this instead of doing this off screen. Um, I've had some comments that you guys want to see some more of just how I'm thinking through things instead of my conclusions on things. So I get that. I get that. That was the wrong one. Okay, that's fine. It doesn't need to be perfect. There we go. And by the way, friendly reminder, if you guys like the paths that I'm using, I did not make them. <laughs> I wish I did. I'm not that talented. But uh, you can find the links in the description below. 100% credit goes to the person who made these glorious paths. That person was not me. <laughs> There we go, okay. So, and you know what, let me let me also, so you guys can get a better idea of like how it's gonna look. I'll fix the path on this side as well. Isabel's like, why did you call me out here if you weren't ready? <laughs> Oh, I'm an awful person. I'm sorry, Isabel. I like you here while I'm brainstorming. Okay. So, this is still the same amount of space. Is this gonna bother me? Oh, it's actually three wide on this side, too. I did not know that. Oh. Okay, okay. Okay, now here's where we run into issues with me. Um, this side has green space and this side doesn't? Uh, I like having green space. 
I could move this path over one. But that doesn't evenly go up here. You know what? It's it's probably fine. This is a big decision, you guys. I don't like this. <laughs> if I move this over too much, though, this doesn't line up anymore. And I really like this. This is perfectly symmetrical. It goes right up between them. I don't like this bit, but it's tolerable. And then it would go straight up into a bridge right here. Eventually. Hmm. Actually, you know what? This still can be even. I just need to get rid of that and put down a bush there. You know what, you guys? I'm not gonna put it down right now. I'm not gonna put it down right now. I'm gonna let you guys decide. Because I'm horrible at decision making and I need support. Um, if you guys would like to visit my dream address, it is down below in the description. It will be on every single episode if you are curious. Um, you may come and visit if you have any ideas. Feel free to come on in. You know, in my dream, I think you can dig up my paths and move stuff around if you want. It doesn't affect my real town. So if you want to do that, feel free. Send me screenshots. Let me see what you think I should do instead. Um, or if, 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 if I should even move it here. It's not done yet. That's the good thing. But because this one is a permanent public works project, I definitely want to have some feedback on it. I definitely want to make sure I'm putting it in the right spot. Oh my goodness. Okay. Overwhelming. <laughs> but guys, I think I'm probably going to wrap up this episode here. I want to thank you all so very much for watching and for hanging out with me and poor Isabel. <laughs> Um, we'll decide what we're doing with this and I guess we'll probably end up doing it next week based on what you guys say. Um, if you guys are new here, new, new heel, new heel. If you guys are new here, feel free to, you know, drop that sub. If you guys want some more content, I stream every single day on Twitch, not on YouTube. Um, 2 p.m. EST. Link is down below in the description. We play Animal Crossing Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday if you guys are curious. But yeah. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this week's episode. Let me know down below. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good one, you guys.